Hello guys, uh, today I want to talk about uh, memory management and garbage collector in Java. Uh, so you know uh, creating the object is all about creating a memory and storing information inside the heap memory. So uh, if you keep creating an uh, object and you do not manage the memory, uh, so your application will slow down. Uh, you need to manage the memory so uh, one way to uh, manage the memory is that to dereferencing the object to heap memory uh, and it will uh, make that that object eligible for garbage collector uh, and uh, if you assign the uh, object to null value, uh, it's it means that you different you you dereferencing the object from the heap memory. So let's uh, talk about uh, let's see uh, what I mean uh, through an example. I'm going to create a new class. Mm, I will make it garbage collector. Collector. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have class, and uh, we are going uh, int uh, EMP mm, ID. Okay. And string. EMP name and okay. I'm going to create the object, uh, the class, uh, the method display public uh, void display employee. And in this class, you can you can assign new value for EMP a, a, a local uh, local uh, variable string EMP name equal to for example talkman and then. System dot out print. I suppose, uh, and I'm going to call the local variable EMP name. Name. Okay. And I'm going to create the object of this class uh, I will copy uh, let's suppose uh, GOB equal to new again I will copy and Okay. Okay. So you should equal. Use the equal sign. I'm going to call this method G O B equal to display method and uh, let's run the program. 
yeah you see it so you can you can even call the uh, local uh, the, the class level uh, variable so in this case you need to uh, make it equal to Tina and then this if you call you see it's Tina anyway let's uh, do the mm, uh, dereference so we display the object we want to dereference this object we will say gob dot uh, mm, equal to null okay this means that you are going to dereference the object uh, uh, gob type ga uh, garbage collector and um, but there is uh, you doing by doing this way you make this uh, gob eligible for garbage collector let's see but there is no difference so in order to see what is uh, going on and uh, let's uh, yeah, execute the finalize method so we are going to use the finalize method finalize method actually what finalize method do finalize method say to jvm hey jvm before you uh, uh, delete the uh, object uh, from the heap memory uh, first of all uh, execute the finalize method so this is kind of confirming the when you see the when you notice the finalize method is executed this means that the jvm uh, the jvm remove the uh, object uh, and then uh, uh, execute the finalize method so okay i will say inside finalize okay uh, finalize method is a confirmation for removing the object but there is no guarantee uh, you see so let's suppose we use the uh, system forcing the uh, garbage collector so this itself does not guarantee but uh, we are going to force you see yeah we see the inside file when now when we see the inside finalized method this means that uh, you de de reference the object and then the garbage collector remove the object uh, garbage collector from the heap memory and before it uh, remove the garbage collector from the heap memory it is executed the finalized method so you see yeah that's fine so hope uh, hope you learn uh, what i want to explain here and uh, good luck with next video bye